Because harvesting herbs can be done throughout the season, the key to getting the most from your herb garden is harvesting the right parts of the plant at the right time. We thought it might be helpful to go over some harvesting basics. We don't have time to cover everything, so consider doing some further research about harvesting the specific herbs you have. There are four parts of the plant that can be harvested. Leaves should be gathered early in the day after the morning dew has left them. With culinary herbs, this can be done as soon as the plants are big enough. However, medicinal leaves should be harvested when the flowers are still in bud, whether for immediate use or for drying. If it's flower heads you want, most plants will grow new ones if you deadhead or pinch off the flowers. The flowers should be picked as soon as they are fully opened, again after the morning dew has been dried by the sun. Seeds present themselves in many different ways. They also come in many different sizes. The seeds should be collected before they fall from the plant. Careful observation of the different herbs at the end of their growing cycle will be a guide in gathering seeds for next year's planting or for winter use. Some seeds are inside capsules. They come out easily if they're ready. Other seeds will be exposed and easily seen by the naked eye. To gather these seeds, there are two choices. Tip the flower heads over and have a container ready to capture the seed that falls out, or cut the plant and hang it to dry in a well-ventilated place. A gentle rubbing after the plants are dry will help the seeds fall off easily. Roots are harvested after the plant has dried and withered. Be careful when pulling up the root. Damaged roots shouldn't be used. Wash off all the soil in cold water before drying, but don't soak them. Both annual and perennial herbs can be harvested by cutting back the whole plant, leaves, flowers and stems. They'll continue to grow and can be harvested more than once. However, it's really important to stop cutting back the herbal perennials six to eight weeks before the first frost in your area. Perennials need a strong, solid base to survive the winter months. The three main things to keep in mind when drying herbs are ventilation, shade and temperature. Since direct sunlight bleaches leaves and flowers and draws out essential oils, herbs should be taken out of the sun immediately after harvesting to preserve these properties. Picking out the weeds and discolored leaves is the next step. Wipe off any excess dirt on the stalks, separate the flower heads and give them their own drying tray. Larger leaves like sage and basil can be taken off the stalks. Smaller leaves like thyme and oregano can be left on the stalks. Comfrey leaves are so large and bruised so easily that they should be hung to dry individually. If you hang the herbs to dry in bunches, ensure air circulation around them and make sure that they aren't touching the walls. Drying trays can be made easily. Old window screens or simple frames with netting placed over them work well and can be layered with spaces in between. Temperature is the third crucial factor. A drying temperature of 32 degrees Celsius or 90 degrees Fahrenheit is preferred. Air circulation into space is critical. The herbs must breathe. Herbs all have variable drying times. When they're done, the leaves should be the consistency of a crispy breakfast cereal. Stems should break, not bend, and flowers should not crumble, but have a crispness to them. Roots should break and not show any moisture. When dried, the herbs should look, taste, and smell very much like a fresh plant. Drying herbs at home means the quality control is in your hands. If dried correctly, the color, flavor, taste and healing properties of the herbs can be very high. It's a satisfying way to ensure a ready supply of your favorites until next season.